Hello and welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Today, I think this must be the first time I've ever done a Rutland's product, but uh, this is the Rutland's Workshop Series Hush Power Vacuum that they advertise on their um, on their website. The last time I looked, it was about 129 pounds. That's in pounds sterling, British pounds. Um, but uh, I've got one of these because they done a one day special on it and I think it was about a hundred pounds or something like that all but a couple of pence but uh, I've had this and I've looked over it I haven't used it as such but uh, I've looked over it and I've had it going and all that sort of thing and what a little machine I'll tell you for the power that's in this machine it's in for the size of it I, I was quite impressed to be honest with you um, there are a couple little quirks and stuff like that that I found with it and, and things like that but the rest of it I found very impressive it has a very very long cord there's about five meters of um, cord there um, so you're not restricted to have it, it right close to this to, to the wall socket or anything like that very very good you know after our extension leads and all this sort of stuff um, but the other features that it does have are the fact that it's got onboard storage for all of its tools and things like that. I have the uh, the two extensions here. I even taken them out the wrapper, as you can see. Um, but they're uh, the two extensions that go together. They are all stored on the on the back of this as well. Uh, you've got the crevice tool, and you've got a little brush tool that comes along with it as well. Then the main the main brush uh, picker upper or whatever you want to call it um, that stores on the back of here as well and you can also have that all connected up and put it into the back of there um, all good to go as, as you want it um, the but it's bagged on the inside it has got a bag but you can apparently take the bag out I haven't done it but you can apparently take the bag out on the inside and for the size of the unit and everything else, you think there's, there's not very much room in there, but believe you me, it's quite, I, I was quite surprised that there's quite a lot of room in this machine. Uh, the power cord will actually store on this sort of loopage type thing up the top here, so you, could, you, you can hang the power cord on there, so even the power cord is not going to be, you know, trailing around everywhere, you know, oh God, I've got to pick up the power cord. Very, very good. Um, on the top here, I'll get it closer to the, the camera there, um, is a big, nice big on off switch. So you can either use your hand or you, if it's down on the floor, you're going to put your foot on it and you can switch it on or off. Now, one of the impressive little things about, about, this, about this machine, I'll take that off the back because I can't get it, can't get it around. The right, impressive little machine about this machine that it does have this 1500 watt power takeoff for your tools. Now, whether you're going to be using a, a, a drill or something like that, that's, that's immaterial, but most of us would use either a sander or a planer or something like that. It's got a drill actually on the. I'll try and get that closer. You can see there's a, a little drill sort of sign um, on there. Uh, but uh, that, that's just probably just to say that it, it's a power tool socket. But it has the uh, three pin, three pin uh, British socket. So anyone is in like the European countries or something like that, you know, think again about buying this because this particular one is um, a British uh, version. I don't know whether Rutlands will uh, do sell the, the European kind. Um, socket that goes in here I, I wouldn't know um, you'll have to contact them and I'll leave a link in the description down below for that um, now one of the most impressive things that I found about this about this machine is is the um, is the connection to here for the, for the actual hose to go in now the hose I wasn't impressed with I would go to say that um, the hose itself uh, was very, very short. It was only about a meter and a meter and a half long at most. Um, 
so I've replaced it with um, some hose that I've I had here for some other projects that I had I had some spare hose um, so I've replaced it with uh, quite quite a long quite a long hose as you can see here um, but the ends of the hose just just screw on um, there's the hose end there I will be replacing that at another at another time um, with um, one of my DeWalt uh, airlock connectors I don't have one at the moment so I'm, I'm, I've got them on, on, on order um, but the, the connector that actually goes into the end of the unit here has got a nice big uh, clip on there so you clip it in and it goes in and it goes in with a nice positive snap into the, into the, into there and when that's in there you know for a fact that it's not going to come out you know a lot of vacuum cleaners these days they just they just push in there with with interference fit in there and they're in there and you if they get stuck somewhere you know very well that that's going to come out and the hose comes out and then then you're trying to use it and think well this thing ain't sucking because it's come out of the actual machine but this is not going to come out of the machine until you press that button to allow it to come out now i'll put that to one side a minute um there are some other little quirks and, and things like that with this with this it does have wheels it has two nice static wheels at the back but they're quite nice ones and the ones at the front they're nice nice quite nice big casters and it does we even on even on this on my router table here it wheels around very very easily so if wherever you're using it you know very well that this thing's going to be moving around whether it's got whether it's going to move around any with, with a little bit of weight in it weight in it but uh, you know i haven't got no weight in it because obviously i haven't used it as such at the moment um i have other vacuums around here that i've used you know and i didn't want to use it before i done this review anyway but it has two nice snap, snap connectors at the side one there and one there so you get it so, so for, for locking this down there's the two locks and this comes out like that which is very impressive and you can see that the profile on the bottom of here is quite flat it, it doesn't protrude down into the actual bucket itself too much it has a little filter on there um, as you see this one's very very clean as I haven't used it um, but it also has a um, adjuster on here as you can see um, for adjusting the uh, strength of the vacuum that the, the machine is actually sucking with um, inside the bucket you have another filter and you can see here that there's quite a big filter here and these are replaceable um, you can order these from Rutlands themselves and uh, you, could, you can replace these as well um, inside here again it comes with a bag so you can use the, the bag to suck up the fine dust or you apparently so you can take the bag off of here and you can use it without the bag and you can have all the debris going straight into the bucket but uh, everything is very very light I know it's plastic and all the rest of it but it, everything is very very light indeed and, and to be honest with you when you're pulling on the hose to pull it along and to go, to go and use it you don't want something that you've got to drag really struggle to drag it along and and to be honest with you I find that you know a real bonus um, again this just sits on the top like that and those those two two locks there just go in and then they're, they're back to normal um what can i say about this machine it is it is a brilliant little little brilliant little thing um i was a bit dubious about actually going and getting one because i got a in-house dust collection system actually built into built into my shed here um that um, i've got a great big dust collector and I was debating whether to go and get one of these to actually use on that um, but I am glad that this came up on a um, on a special with um, Rutlands themselves they they done one of their one day specials and I thought I'm gonna have that now then as it's gone down a little bit in price 
so uh, I wasn't planning on getting one but you know I am glad that I get one I've got one now because for, if I wanted to go out and use it on my car you know to clean out the car or anything like that this probably would be my go-to um, little vacuum that I would go because it's it's so handy to have around it's, it says workshop series and everything else but uh, you know if anyone wanted to use one in, in their in their home or anything like that then there's no reason why you can't have this in the home because it is so so quiet it is a, such a little quiet little thing um, they advertise it on their website is something like 60 65 something like that decibels a normal vacuum cleaner that you can buy um, you, you'll, you'll find them up to about 75 decibels maybe even at some of them are 85 decibels um, so you know this is really really quiet um, compared to a lot of um, uh, machines in fact I'll tell you what I, I, I will I will plug this in um, so you can actually hear um, how quiet this machine actually is excuse me a second I will go and plug this in and you can actually now obviously this hasn't got any um, uh, attachments to it so you can get, you've got the hose now I'll plug the hose in and that's what you get that is that is that is the uh, the noise of the actual machine now and if I can talk to you here now I'm talking over the mic of the, of the, of the machine and you know, over the top of this machine and I'm talking I'm not speaking loudly I'm speaking at normal what I was speaking just a minute ago and it's very very good and there we go it's switched off with the button at the top it th this button actually on here this button here allows you now to go and use the tools and everything else but that's a switch there so it switches that socket off and everything else if anyone's interested and they saw that but it's very 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 dirty quiet and that's going through here and, and you can hear the, 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 the suction coming through that hose and I was very very surprised how much suction it had it was it's absolutely brilliant little machine if anyone wants to get one of these go to their website and and, and go and get one because i i was i was quite impressed to be honest we are for the size of this little vacuum and everything else i was very very impressed so uh, you know there we go so rutland's workshop series hush power vacuum right now there we go anyone wants to contact me contact me with the comments down below I do have a website uh, not well email address um, so please contact me on any of those um, so uh, anyone I've got the usual sort of you know Facebook Instagram and all that sort of thing so if anyone wants to contact me on those they can do uh, so there we go um, Click a like on the I'll put a like on the old like button down below and if you like if you want to subscribe to the channel subscribe and I'll leave it there and uh, I will see you next time bye bye.